So, hello everyone, welcome here to my reaction and of course breakdown video of Toradora opening today. There's of course Monday, right? Monday will be opening, reaction, opening, and say so on. Sometimes it's more, you know, sometimes I do more reaction, right? Sometimes I go in more blind, and sometimes I do more breakdown every single day. So you have two openings here of Toradora, and of course a very classic, very cool comedy, school, romance, anime, right? About a little angry tiger girl, <laughs> Tauga. And the super genki girl and the other girl is kind of mean. Um, but anyway, let's start watching the opening and then we're gonna, after that, we're gonna break down and talk about the scenes on the opening. So, three, two, one, and go. Let's go to Hu Shan, you know. Yeah. I remember the was at the right, because I love Ralph, I'm like a demon, so yeah. Latest now, yeah. And of course, also playing King's Game, <laughs> King's Game, the horrible anime ever. It's a typical her, yeah. I just love immediately how many she's a Genki girl. She walks Genki, right? Yeah, I love that. There's detail there. She's, she's a, she walks the Genki style. She later too, and open that one And of course, uh, Tora lives in her. Yeah, Tiger like her. And <laughs> mom, yeah. And the weird escort they could someone. <laughs> so it's like. Huh, to no, to no surprise, they also brought to the four him and his mom, yeah, to no surprise, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're super like, yeah! Mm -hmm. And he's always hiding with her when which is a weird part. This is a Hushan song to you. Yeah, the mom with like a bra. <laughs> it's like, god damn it, anime. Stop making Milf so hot, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I love it. It's a classic, like, yay pop style of anime. Come on, anime of the year. Man, this is just a kind of yeah, I grew up with, yeah. Those guys never had screen time. <laughs> Those guys have zero screen time. They're, they're in, his friends in the opening, but <laughs> they never exist in episodes. He's supposed to have more friends. Same so with these girls, they're also like, does she have other friends in the anime? I mean, he talks to some other girls maybe sometimes, but not really. And I guess he's, he's playing a team, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> There's kind of a cat in the opening, it doesn't exist in the actual anime. Um, not really, right? This is my favorite scene, but later, yeah. It sounds just like, gotta get married! <laughs> I love that scene, you know, classic anime, yeah. Poor Sans, he's 25, not married yet, what a loser, yeah. Uh, and here is great, you know, he's running here, yeah. It's even a brother like Genki girl, yeah. Being a fool, yeah. <laughs> he has a cook for a clean and so on. I love this, like, we smile at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Do, do. But there we go, yeah, that is the openings. Um, so I'm gonna break down the scenes, of course, as I love to do, right? Just gonna. Mm, 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 mm. What's the dart? Open one? Okay, I'll do one first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my favorite scene, again, it's my favorite scene, my favorite, my favorite scene is definitely the part where Sensei is looking at uh, <laughs> the. This is a classic scene, you know, the sensei is like, look at me, I have to get a boyfriend now, yeah, the poor sensei is like, the thing is that, this is a very Japanese scene, in Japan, uh, if you're 25 and aren't married, you're like a loser, right, yeah, and if you're a 25 year old woman, and this is the same thing like Nisekoi and so on, right, um, this is what we see here with sensei, yes, I love this scene here with her, she's always like, you know, trying, you know, she's trying, you know, to be like, she, she, gets, she gets laid, right, yeah, but basically, sensei needs to have sex, <laughs> no, but it's like, Sensei, you know, she's, the distance is like, she has very little screen time, but when she has screen time in these anime, it's always like, I got to look at this, you know, my brochures and find myself a husband, yeah, it's always like that thing, right? I love the detail here in the opening, this young girls running past her, she's like, oh yeah, yeah, young, you know, young kids, you know, girls, they're 
having fun, you know, exercise, yeah, there's, you're having a nice time right there. She's like, ah, oh, I remember when I was young. And it's like, I'm killing an husband! <laughs> you know, so I love this scene here. It's just classic anime. It's just classic. The poor sensei need to get laid soon, yeah. Very, very classic anime. I mean, but it's a cultural thing, right? But anyway, so begin with, uh, in the beginning, the first scene, it's a great open to the door. I love this part in the beginning immediately because we see how how uh, Ty is kind of kicking this poor bed right. She's like, I'm gonna get my socks on, yeah. So we see she's an aggressive girl immediately. Yeah, she, she destroys the bed to be like, socks on now. So that's very, it's very much you know showing her personality, right? And, which I, you know, again, why I usually love a lot of anime stuff because they are very good at showing the cats, right? I think it's a very you know, course we talk about anime here every one day, but. I feel this is a very anime thing, right? To be able to really portray the characters in such a fast and interesting way, right? Where I think other media doesn't really do it well. So he immediately is like, yeah, look at her. She's like, kicks the bed. She's aggressive. She's kind of like, you know, she's clearly, uh, you know, kind of say, like, yeah, a uh, dominant <laughs> personality trait. Yeah, so immediately. And on the same time, then the next scene, you see Ryo, he's like, he's cooking. He's kind of like the, the husband. He's like, yeah, 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 I do my food, you know. He, yeah, he's... He's more a submissive type, you know, in this sense. That he's, a, he's a caretaker, right? And she's the aggressive. Yeah, you do what I say, boy, you know. He's a psycho face. Yeah. So, you know, it clearly kind of gives them a different perspective, right? You know, he's, yeah, yeah, they're very different. And then I love this thing here, uh, which you see immediately. Where, so, you know, because Minori, she's super Genki, right? She's a Genki girl. I love this thing here in the opening because she's like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, but she's barking Genki, right? She has too much energy. She's doing the whole, yeah, and he's like, you know, oh, and he's like, yeah, you know. The other cat, they're kind of just doing like a normal walk, right? They're kind of like, yeah, just, you know, we walk and, you know, they see the other cat adding in, yeah. They kind of walk and they're not, they're not doing anything like special, right? They're kind of just like, oh, you know, walking. Of course, she's had the tricks, yeah, that. But, but still, they're kind of like, yeah, they're kind of walking, but she's like, <laughs> I'm going out, oh, she, you know, because she has too much energy, right? She's Genki. So, this first time you see her in the opening and, Immediately, it's like, yeah, this girl, she is super Genki because she's like, yeah, she's flying all over the place, right? Uh, of course, that's a great bit of showing her Genkiness. And they do, they do it a lot, I mean, and then, of course, she's living in her trash pile of home. So we establish that she's, you know, a badass girl with a book again. And then we see his mom, and she's some kind of escort lady. So we see her, like, be kind of, yeah, no, yeah. She's always tired of sleeping, you know, get that stuff. No opening. Why is the caretaker right there? Yeah. Then we see the couplings, you know, the bad the friendships and them staring at each other and so on. And here we see it again right between the robbers introducing him. Like, he's super Genki and the whole other like, Yeah! Hello man! Yeah, she's, she's like, woo! <laughs> he's very, very Genki. He's one of the most Genki openings ever, Rock and Yeah, he's always Genki. He's like, yeah! Always. He's the last thing to do this is weird thing comes later, but yeah, like she's always super Genki, right? Um he's a kind of a nat yeah. And then we have like you know, Amy, she's kind of hiding in this, like, yeah, she loves, and it's because there's a lot of scenes in the anime where she's, like, at this drinking machine, right? She loves going over there, kind of relaxing, hiding away from people, yeah, so I guess she's, like, I guess it's kind of hiding her, but it doesn't really, it's not really a personality trait, it's kind of a weird scene because it's kind of like a, the whole storyline as well, she's also an extrovert character and so on, but it's basically almost like an introvert, right? So it's kind of a weird scene, but she keeps doing it all the time, kind of foreshadowing her, Behavior of hiding away at the at the vending machine more than more of her personality. Then we see Minoru the ball there, so yeah, it's like playing that softball. Uh, and this, this is more of Minoru, right? Uh, sorry, Ami, when she's like, you know, yeah, screaming in the microphone. This is more of her typical personality, like taking taking the space there, yeah, looking angry at him and so on. And then we see Mom, and I think this is like a great because man, that Mom has a lot of Route 34 on her, yeah, <laughs> for some reason, for some reason. We see Mom, and she's like, you know. Her, yeah, her bra is almost slipping up there, right? She's sitting there kind of half, half naked, you know? She's like, oh, yeah, and then the bird there. It's like, she's like laughing. It was like, <laughs> it's like, it's like super silly laughing. I guess it's sense again. She's still, yeah, this is sense that she's angry because she can't get a husband, right? Yeah. And sense is always horny to get a husband, yeah. But I love her mom. She's, she's like a super carefree, you know, very casual woman. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> bird. And her clothes are like falling, her boobs are like falling out there. Uh, and then we see her, the other course. It's just absolutely cleaning, right? I kind of like a Monica character, yeah. And then we see the French ship jumping in and so on. But <laughs> they had it, and it's fun. But I love this thing too, because again, if it, if it opens anything, it's making Minori be super genki. Like one of the most genki thing ever. Look at this thing, she's like, oh yeah, guys! 
I mean, she was like this, right? And, and it, it was off last week we did the Belzebub opening, right? Um, and it is more in the best ending, actually. But you know, my best girl is Yuka, of course. With Hara Kurumatsu doing Yuka in uh, Yuka Hansawa in, in Belzebub. And the same thing with her, right? You see Yuka in like ending five, something in Belzebub. With all the girls, they're kind of doing it like they're, they're Yankee girls. They're working like, mm, yeah, we're gonna go and fight, right? Yeah, they're doing this, you know, like angry walk, right? They're doing their stuff. But then we see, so they're, they also do, they're, doing the angry, they're doing the angry, you know, delinquent walk, right? But then Yuka's like, what is this? She's, oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, she's like super, like, oh my god! Oh. She can't, you know, yeah, but the rest of the time he's walking, you know, very, like, yeah. <laughs> Ignoring her. She's like, oh. So she's doing that super, you know, genki, too much energy girl, like, oh my god, everything! Look at this thing around me! Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very, you know, typical Japanese anime genki. And here we see Minori, she's doing this stuff, they're talking about it at the, at the roof, and you know, the other cats that are standing there, like, okay, yeah, what, what do you want to say, Minori? And she's like, Whoa! <laughs> yeah, she can't just talk. Has to do. You has to do this thing, right? Yeah, it breaks down your. I think it was what happened to. Her. I was like, man, I'm moving too much here. Yeah, and you know, she's doing this stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I have an idea. Yeah, she can't just talk. She has to be like super moving, right? Yeah, look at this. She has to be like, oh yeah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. And then we see, of course, yeah. And then because Emily, the sexual said, yeah, and she's more of the sexual character, right? She's like, oh yeah, little, little yeah. But anyway. And yeah, then Bokken is the one who's angry. It's got open to here. But uh, it's super ganky. Super ganky. <laughs> this one thing this anime shows, yeah, is that that girl is very, very ganky. Every damn scene, she's like, look at me, I'm so ganky. Uh, and then we see there's more of the clothing here. Yes, the more winter clothing, fall clothing, right? Uh, in the in the open two in the beginning. You know, it's like a nice dress day. We have a problem with PLCM later. Love this song, though, yeah. Love it. I think this opening is kind of funny because there's so many cats in Open 2 doesn't exist in the actual anime. <laughs> so, so, for example, these two guys appear, right? They're, they're like in the background in every in some episodes, but they never have they're like one screen, they're like one line or something. And it's the same with all the cats appearing too. Because, yeah, see, I mean, it's kind of a weird scene actually because the other doesn't have that many friends in the anime. He doesn't seem to have like friends at all really, except, you know, the, the, the friend group, right? But when you get in here, it's kind of like... Maybe he does have friends, and uh, but they don't really have any screen time. And, they, and then the same thing with the next coupling too, right? Uh, she is struggling a little bit with her. Yeah, but she's kind of cute. <laughs> Taya can't get up her shoes, yeah. And then it's fixing the whole at home. And it's kind of the same thing here, because Ami, she has more friends popular, but still though, they haven't, they, they, these kids don't have any like, screen time either. They, they also kind of in the background with her sometimes, but they also don't have like a voice actor. They, maybe it's like one line, right? So this whole thing too is, in, in that sense, it's kind of starting up. They actually do have a lot of more friends than the actual friend group, but we never see them, or they're kind of in the background somewhere. <laughs> yeah, she's her team. They're the most obvious team. Though. She has a you know, softball team, but yeah, she's playing with those characters, and he's, you know, the, the, the counselor. They're also never, never shown at all, right? And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, my favorite scene, because Sensei's like, gotta get a husband, yeah! God damn it, young girls! Gotta need a husband, too, yeah! So you see her at Angus always right? And remember that last time, and they do this thing again here, right? So it's an interesting thing too. Last time, you kind of saw, you know, Sensei, and then we see Mom and so on. And Mom is like, you know, super sexy lord. She's like, oh yeah, I, she has sex all the time, right? With some random guys, whatever. Yeah, until that's kind of personality trait, right? It's like, it's, it's a kind of, it's, yeah, she does stuff, right? On the side, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, probably. And then the next thing then, after Sensei being all, you know, frustrated, right? She can't get laid, right, basically. Then we see Mom, and she's, you know, she's getting it all the time, basically, like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, he's playing at home with a bird again, right? So, you know, so this kind of idea, real, this, this thing, they were like the two different adult female characters have very different lives, right? That they kind of show them back, back to back in the openings, yeah. So then we see Mom then, and she's just playing, having fun, and, you know, being happy, yeah. She's just like, oh, yeah, you know, I get very casual, uh, you know, a lot of stuff happening in my life with boys, and <laughs> sense is super frustrated, right, yeah. And I got this great running scene. It really shows you a lot of like uh, the minutes really. Yeah, that scene is great. She's getting kicked again, but also like she looks really. Like, she looks really frustrated when she runs there, yeah. And then we see Amy Hiley at the vendor machine as always, looking determined and so forth. I love the runs. This one is great, yeah. And then, you know, Taika walking with her book and so on. Also being angry, but also sad because she's crying there, clearly behind, yeah. Um, and then this last scene here is QE2, and uh, kind of like. They are bringing food and so on. And then, of course, <laughs> her boy appears here. Yeah, it's like, got some food for you, girl. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, got some food for you. 
<laughs> and then they do the smile thing. Yeah, the great, great romance anime. Uh, but yeah, that's that Toradora opening reaction to the station. It's a great, I think it's a great opening. I didn't have the song. And I mentioned again, opening one thing is better. I think opening one really good at showing the different characters, personality traits, and so on. And again, then really showing off, especially Minori's Genkiness. Yeah, Genki, Genki, running around Genki, jumping Genki, talking Genki, doing everything Genki. <laughs> she's like, yeah, but you really see that in every scene she's shown in, she's just very Genki. When she's like, hello, I'm, um, yeah, like, you know, can't you say, you know, that all the cats are like, yeah, my name is this, right? And you know, yeah, smile, she's like, yeah, I am this girl. <laughs> you know, she's always like super into it, right? Super, super into it. Um... And then, you know, the opening is good. The opening is very good at showing these small bits. Uh, like, again, with like, her mom, that she's very casual, she's going to this thing, she's very tired, but she was at night, right? She's a very, like, you know, liberated, yeah, let's say that thing. Yeah, kind of, right? Just have that kind of occupation. Where it sounds like it's like very, like, oh, God, I can never get sex, and she's frustrated, and oh, and in both opens, she's like, oh, God damn it, young girls having all the fun, you know, yeah, it's like very, like, you know, angry about her her lack of a boyfriend or husband and so on, right there. So they can't show that immediately with both those characters, how different they are, also back to back then. So it's really good at that, uh, yeah, portraying the different characters, personalities. And of course, like, you know, the cleaning the stuff at school, so right? it's obsessed with cleaning, like Monica and friends, right? Has to clean all the people's house, yeah. You know, you know, you always know we have a friend. You come home to you and they see your your like my Spider-Man. They're like, no, nah, it's it's kind of it should be like that, yeah. And they're like, no, the angle, <laughs> you know, yeah. Then you know you have like a Monica, right? Yeah. And they get the whole your home and they're like, can I rearrange your stuff? My mom has a bit of that. Yeah, she's a bit. They come home with you and they're like, I guess we kind of wish it me. I guess some people still. She's kind of like, ah, mwah, this thing should be like at this angle, <laughs> like a fix your yeah. Fixing your painting and so on. And I have a lot of this stuff, you know. I have a lot of these paintings. All my walls and all the whole house and so on. Uh, I have too many actually. I have like, a, I have like a, you know, I collected this kind of thing for, I don't know, 25 years, right? So I have like, like a closet with like hundreds of these different, you know, similar, um, yeah, posts and so on. <laughs> but so I have like the, all, all the wall there and the next wall and the next room and the room under, yeah, like everywhere. <laughs> and stop doing it in the ceiling soon one day. I don't know. Mostly, honestly, because I move so much, it's usually in in, uh, in uh, package. But anyway, uh, I like that the reward, of course, officer that also in the open right? He's like, you know, he's the kind of guy that enters your home and be like, that painting there. Mm, yeah, right, let me clean this stuff for you. So we just could see it in the anime middle. Right? So the anime is great. I love Toradora. Anyway, that's the Monday opening reaction session. See you guys. Have a great day. And of course, subscribe for more if you have. Of course, Black Clover. And the final episode is Kai Quartered, right? I missed that anime. It was so good last week when we started. I was like so happy when we started up here last week. And I was like, see ya! See ya! Let's play with these new friends. Like, no! Let's go home. Say <laughs> ya refuses. So hopefully, we see that tomorrow as well. So I really hope so. It was a great. I loved that episode last week. It was so good. Um, and of course, subscribe because we have new animes coming right this week. I look forward to the most. I say it every time. I'm going to video about that probably on Wednesday. It's of course uh, Otome, Bakarina, Katarina, Bakarina, uh, Otome, Villian. I'm going to do a video about that anime specifically. Uh, review like because I read the manga. I read manga. So I really love it. So I'm going to do a video about that. Uh, probably on Wednesday. Uh, I really love that show. I really love the storyline. So that's going to be my number one this season. Except of course, Kurosawa. So anyway, see you guys and have a great day.